Okay, we're quickly going to talk about focusing and the different types of focusing that are available to most DSLRs. Now, really, there's just four. You've got one-shot focusing, AI focusing, AI servo focusing, and manual focusing. Now, at the moment, we're just going to talk about two. We're going to talk about one-shot and AI servo. Now, one-shot focusing is basically when, as you push the shutter down halfway, you'll hear a beep and one of your focus points will light up to say that the shot is actually in focus. Now it's kind of a visual audio way of focusing so you know you've locked on focus and you can take the shot. AI servo focusing is where you hold the button down and all the while, it's all the while you're holding the shutter down, it's actually focusing and tracking the subject. Now I'm just gonna take five photos using each method. Um, in fact, I'm gonna take 10. I'm gonna take five using the central focusing point on one shot and five using all focus points on one shot. And then I'm gonna take five using the central point on servo focusing and five on the, on the uh, servo focusing using all the points. So if we just quickly take those now and we'll check them out on the computer when we get back. So first of all, I'm using the central point with one shot focusing and I'm also using F2.8 so that any fluctuations in focusing, any errors we get will show up more. So Dylan, if you wanna just ride around a bit, we'll take five photos of you now like this. Okay, so basically I'm gonna get, as he moves, just take one shot. I'm getting the audio beep, I'm getting the, the beep. So I'm getting a, a visual lock on with the red flashing. And I'm also getting the audible. Okay, so that's five doing that. I'm now gonna change it to all focus points and see if we get the same kind of results. So now we're on all focus points. Keep coming around then. So now we're taking five more photos using all focus points while he's moving about and see if the focusing still locks on. That's it, come towards me, Dill. It's okay, it's okay. Go on then, keep moving. Good boy, now go back the other way and we'll get some photos. There we go, as he goes past, we're gonna just see if it still locks on well. Four, and see if it's still locked on, five. Okay, now we're gonna to switch to servo focusing and hopefully the, the, survey, the, the focusing will track Dylan as he rides around. So we'll put it on just central point. So go around again then, last time. So now we're using the central point. Now with this, we're in danger of tracking to the back of the shot, but let's just see if we can get all five in focus as he goes around. There we go, that's three, four, five so hopefully they'll have they'll have worked now if you do one more trip then we're done so now i'm going to go onto all five sorry onto all nine points of focusing and as dylan rides around now we're basically going to see if all points using ai servo can actually track him while he rides so there you go just ride towards me now dylan straight towards me if you turn around and ride straight towards me that's it just keep coming two three four five that's great. So hopefully using all of those, we'll have got all the photos in focus using all different methods. But while we're looking at them on the computer, we'll kind of talk about the benefits uh, and the pitfalls of using each one. Right, so let's look through those photos to see what kind of results we got. Now the first set here are all using one shot focusing where you push the shutter down, uh, you get the lock, focus lock, and then take the photo. <clears throat> and also we were using the central point here. Now this first photo is actually slightly out of focus. Um, the, the, the focus point was at the, at the rear of the bike here. So what happened was as the bike was moving away from me, the camera had focused on Dylan, but in the split second it took for me to get the focus lock and then take the shot, he'd actually move forward a couple of um, feet or a few few inches. That means that he's slightly out of focus. So that's one of the pitfalls of using central uh, sorry, one-shot focusing when you're use photographing a, a subject that's moving towards you or away from you, you're going to back focus or forward focus. So we've lost focus on that one. The next shot here again is out slightly out of focus again because Dylan was riding away from me. It's focused slightly behind here. You can see the grass is sharp here, um, but Dylan himself is actually slightly out of focus. Again, I got the beep and the the focus on Dylan, but then as I pushed the shutter, he'd moved slightly forward ahead. So that's again one of the pit, pitfalls. Now this one, it seemed to work better as he's coming towards me because this one is in focus. Dylan is in focus. Um, it's a nice shot. Um, so again, we're using the one shot, but it seemed to work better coming towards me. And again, that one's also in focus, so it seemed to work better. 
and the last one as well. So it just seems that the the first two, as Dylan was moving away, the the camera seemed to focus slightly in front or actually behind Dylan, but in front, you know, in between me and Dylan. And then the next three shots were all in focus. So that one kind of seems to have you, you may have a bit of trouble with with uh, using one shot focusing with subjects that are coming towards or or um, away from you. And also remember, we're just using, using the central point, so it would have been around this area here that the camera would have been focusing on. So let's look at the next one. This is one shot again, but using all all points. Now there's a slight danger when you're doing this that the camera may focus on the background it doesn't know what the subject is unless you're actually tracking with him so there is a slight danger when using all points that it may focus to something else in the image rather than the person you're trying to photograph but just so happens that because Dylan was actually going from right to left here he wasn't going backwards or forwards the cameras actually focus well on him so this shot is actually focused well on the subject so happy with that it managed to track him quite well but here, as Dylan went away from me, it went badly out of focus. Now, this is what I mean. We were using all points on the camera, and as he rode away, absolutely nothing um, nothing was in focus. So, really poor shot. Same with that one as well. So, when you're not tracking a subject, when you're not using AI servo, but just one shot focusing, once you lose focus and you're doing a, a, a series of photographs, then you've lost them for a few. So, we did lose a few there. In fact, we lost three. That one's slightly out of focus as well. As well so not happy with those but the last one of the one shot focusing using all points again because he's going left to right the shot is absolutely immaculately in focus so I was really happy with that so I think what we've learned from those first 10 photos using one shot focusing if a subject is going from left to right you're fine because you're once you've locked focus in you can pan with the subject and keep them in focus and get some really good shots and I found that when I'm photographing wind surface, kite surface, that sort of thing that it works well but if a subject is coming towards you or away from you then obviously one shot's not going to work because there's no latitude for error at all. So let's move on to the, the next section. This is using the servo focus, which means that all the time you're holding down the shutter button, um, the the focusing mechanism will actually track the subject. So what we, what happened here was, first shot, perfectly in focus, the head was very sharp, very um, well in focus, and again remember we're just using the central focus point, so this would have been the area that I was aiming at so it's kept all this area here in focus. Next shot, um, this was focused on subject, that was well. Um, again, we would have focused for the central point here, which would have kept the whole frame in focus, so that one was sharp as well. As was this one, the central point was there, so we've got Dylan well in focus, so again, very happy with that shot. Now, the next one is actually out of focus, and I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe the central point moved, or it just didn't track it very well. It just kind of threw a bit of wobbly, but the actual seat bar here is in focus, and the back tyre, so it's slightly back focused. But then the last shot, again, is very well in focus. So the central point would have been here, so um, Dylan is well in focus. But you can see with f2.8, there's not a lot of room for error. So that kind of worked quite well. I was quite pleased with that. Now, the last lot, we're using AI Servo, so it's tracking Dylan using all the points. Now there is a sometimes a danger here of, um, like I say, the camera not knowing what you want to focus on. So as long as the subject is moving and you're tracking him quite well with all the points over him as much as you can, it should work quite well. Now Dylan's head here was well in focus. In fact, the whole thing was well in focus. So I was quite pleased. Again, Dylan was coming towards me here and it tracked him really well because that one was pin sharp, the next one was pin sharp, and the next one was pin sharp. So I was really happy with those ones and they obviously this one works the best I think for subjects that are coming towards you. And then the last one was also well focused. So it seems that if you're photographing subjects that are coming towards you or away from you, you're better off using, or just from this test I've established for myself, that you're better off using AI servo mode using all points. So the camera's intelligent enough to be able to track the subject that's moving in the image. Um, if you're using stationary objects, just photographing normal everyday things, whether it's a building or you know normal landscapes, that kind of thing, or portraits that aren't moving, then I think the uh, using one shot focusing with a central point, pick your point of focus, lock it in, and take the shot because you've got a bit more time. But with moving subjects, I think AI servo is good using all points. So I hope that helps a little bit. So, but the the best thing to do is use your own kit and do a similar test for yourself and see which works and see how well your lenses cope with these situations so try AI servo and one shot focusing using the central point and all points and just see how you get on as well